hi everyone welcome back to registration and login tutorial series in previous parts we have completed a registration feature okay and this is the fifth part and in this part we are going to take a look into spring security configuration basically we are going to configure spring security in our spring boot project and in next part we are going to implement login feature and then we'll also look into logout and home page implementation all right let's go ahead and let's configure spring security in our spring boot project so in previous video we have commented spring security starter dependency in a pom.xml all right now what we'll do we'll uncomment this starter dependency and we'll configure spring security in our spring boot project okay so far we have implemented a registration feature now in this video we'll take a look into the spring security configuration and in next video we'll implement a login feature okay great so let's have a look into first a spring boot auto configuration for spring security so whenever spring boot you know finds spring security starter dependency on a class path then spring boot will auto configure spring security so spring boot basically uh, provides a default user and password and also provides a default login page all right so spring boot will you know provide a encrypted password and it will print on a console let me show you quickly let's go and let's run our spring project and we are able to see a encrypted password that is generated by spring security and it will print on a console uh, here we can see mm, yeah here we go so look at here this is the generated security password and it is in an encrypted format all right and spring security also provides a default login page uh, let me show you go to the browser and in a tab just type localhost 8080 so look at here this is the default login page provided by spring security and yeah so you can either use a default login page or you can also provide your custom login page for your you know application so it's uh, depends on you and as per the requirement so in this uh, uh, project uh, that is registration and login tutorial series we are going to create our own custom login page and uh, we are not going to use a default spring security provided login page all right great so this is how default uh, auto configuration uh, provided by spring boot apart from that uh, you can also use some predefined properties here so look at here these are the two properties provided by spring boot to you know to default configure user and password all right so also it provides uh, roles spring yeah here we go so you can also configure role for this particular user okay great so either you can use a default spring security configuration provided by spring boot or you can also customize your own spring security and in this video tutorial series we are going to customize our spring security uh, that is we are going to provide our own custom login page as well as we are going to authenticate uh, username and password with the database so we are totally focusing on uh, you know custom implementation so for that we are going to remove this part okay let me stop the server let's go ahead and let's create a package so right click on main package new and then choose package and let's call package as config and we are going to create a spring configuration class so for that uh, let's go ahead and let's create a class let's name it as spring uh, that is uh, security configuration all right all right so let's use add configuration annotation to make this class as a spring configuration class so let's add add configuration annotation and also we need to add at the rate enable web security configuration so this will basically integrate spring security with spring muc and it will also enable web security support okay and again here we need to uh, extend 
web security configure adapter class all right so basically this provides this class provides convenient base class for creating web security configure instance the implementation allows customization by overriding methods so basically this class provides a overloaded config methods to provide our own custom configurations so we basically override couple of config methods and we will configure spring security all right let us see how to do it let's override config method so look at here we just uh, overridden config method and here in inside this method we provide uh, all the configuration spring security configuration like uh, accessing uh, static resources and the urls and for example so let me quickly write the code to configure the urls So here basically we provide a access to some uh, URLs for example registration uh, JS files CSS files and images so we are going to permit right so let's call permit all method and again we are going to authenticate any request right mm, any request dot authenticated all right and then we are going to use uh, form login right for that let's call form login and then the login page so we are going to create a custom login page and we need to configure url to access custom login page for that just provide a url here like this and then permit all so we are uh, we are permitting this URL. Uh, basically, all all the users can able to access this URL, and then and log out invalidated invalidate uh, HTTP session true, and then. Clear authentication also true. All right, and then uh, we provide a logout URL configuration. So once user click on logout button, then user should able to navigate to the login page with a logout as a message. Okay. And then finally uh, we need to permit access to these links right so let's call permit all method so what we have done would we have overridden config method and we have provided access to the different uh, urls like a registration and jss file js files css and image and also we have given uh, access to the custom login page and logout all right it's pretty simple configuration now let's go ahead and let's create a password encoder okay so look at here we are using java based configuration hence uh, here i have provided at the red bin annotation and we are going to use a uh, bycrypt password encoder to encode a password okay great and notice that we are we are using spring data jp and hibernate right so in order to integrate spring data jp and hibernate in spring sec with spring security we need to provide a bin over here that is dao authentication provider all right and so look at here this is a password encoder bin so just we are providing as a dependency to the uh, DAO authentication provider so look at here so this DAO authentication provider provides a method called set password encoder and here we are just setting a password encoder all right 
and we are we are uh, using bycrypt password encoder to encrypt the password and here we need to provide a uh, user details service implementation so basically spring security provides user details service interface it has a load user details method so basically we need to implement this interface and we need to provide as a dependency to this bin okay so for that what we do we'll quickly uh, inject user service interface over here user service and user service okay now look at here the error uh, you this interface should implement user details service interface all right so now what we do we'll go to the user service interface and let's extend user details service interface and again inside user service implementation class we need to override a method here load user by username and we need to provide implementation here all right so in the next part uh, i am going to implement this method okay uh, in this part we just stick with spring security configuration okay now we have a bin in place that is password encoder authentication provider now we need to pass authentication provider to the config method so let's override one more config method and just pass authentication provider to that let me quickly do that so look at here just i uh, have overridden config method it has authentication manager builder class as a parameter and here i am just passing authentication provider uh, as a dependency to the authentication provider uh, method uh, it's pretty simple uh, spring security configuration so let me recap what we have done we have added spring security starter dependency to the pom.xml and next we have created a class spring security spring configuration class which annotated with add configuration annotation and add enable web security annotation and this class extends web security configure adapter and then we have overridden a couple of config methods and so this is the config method and here uh, we provided access to different urls like registration js css and image and also login and logout and inside this config method we just provide authentication provider okay and as we are using java based configuration hence we need to create a bins like this okay this is a spring bin uh, we have used at the rate bin annotation to create a bin if you are using annotation based configuration then you need to use at component annotation okay all right so this is all about spring security configuration in our spring boot project in next part we are going to implement a backend part for you know login feature all right i will see you in the next part thanks guys thanks for watching